do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play okay. Sing a song and pray That's right God really loves us God really, really cares About you, me, our families That's right God's always right there Woo! Let me fix my curls You've tuned into Cali's world That's right, boys and girls Welcome to Cali's world That was so fun And this looks so good It sure does Almost as good as a handful of lightly salted acorns Mmm Hi, friends! Chip and I just got finished with our first day of basketball camp! They're having a basketball camp at Callie's church! We are going there every day this week to learn some basketball skills like... Ankle twists and crossover dribbles! Lovely! And sometimes a little lucky layups! <laughs> Jump shots that go way high up in the air! And splash down into the hoop! Yeah! Yeah! And at the beginning and end of every day of camp, Coach Stefan prays to make sure that God is at center court. What did he say to you when we were doing our ankle twisting crossover dribble drills? Sweet acorns, that's hard to say. Quick friends, try saying dribble drills five times really fast. Dribble drill, dribble drill, dribble drill, dribble drill, dribble drill. To tell you the story, I'm gonna need a minute. So, we were practicing our dribble drills, dribble drills, dribble drills. <laughs> and our friend Andre kept dribbling his ball into mine. What in what chips? Is that why you were turning all red? Yep. I don't think Andre was doing it on purpose, but it was making me mad. Friends, sometimes I turn red when I've done something that makes me feel silly. Other times, I turn red because I feel mad. Mm, it's okay to feel mad. We all do sometimes. What keeps it okay is what we do when we're mad. What did you do? Well, I felt so mad that I thought I might take Andre's ball away from him or say something mean to him. That's not like the cool Cali I know at all. You're right. That was when Coach Stefan stepped in. But before I tell you what he said, let's check out our Bible story. Oh, that will give us a chance to chow down on this pizza. Mmm. Today's Bible story comes from 1 Samuel chapter 25. Nabal, a mean and unfriendly man, lived with his wife, Abigail, who was smart and beautiful. Nabal was very rich and had thousands of sheep. It was time to shear or cut the sheep's wool. Many people use this time to celebrate by being generous and sharing with others. There was a time when Nabal's shepherds and sheep were in the wilderness. There, they met David, who was the next promised king. David and his friends helped keep Nabal's sheep safe. So when David heard that Nabal was shearing his sheep, he sent 10 of his friends to give a message to Nabal. They asked Nabal to share food with them. After all, they treated Nabal's shepherds and sheep well while they were in the wilderness. Nabal refused to share any food with them. He was mean with his words. Nabal said he didn't know who David was, and even though David was famous in the land. David was famous because God promised to make David king one day. David was extremely upset when he heard that Nabal was being unkind to David's friends, so he took 400 people to go fight Nabal. One of the people who worked for Nabal told Abigail what happened, and Abigail had to act fast before something bad happened. She quickly gathered a lot of food to take to David. When she saw David, she bowed in front of him and apologized for Nabal's actions. She knew God had special plans for David. She asked him to receive the gifts of food and forgive Nabal. David was glad that God sent Abigail to meet him. David decided to forgive Nabal. That's how Abigail made peace. Sometimes we might be unkind like Nabal or get angry like David. Next time that happens, think about how you can make peace because making peace is part of God's game plan. Hey, Callie, so when Andre kept dribbling his ball into yours, it sounds like you needed an Abigail. What do you mean? You know Abigail from the story. She wanted to make peace with David. I bet David was as red as you were. Maybe even redder. Maybe even redder. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what Coach Stefan was, like Abigail. He took me to the side and told me to take a deep breath. Let's do it together. 
better after that. Then Coach Stefan moved me so that I was right beside you, Chip. That was fun, because you and I dribble at the same speed. So our balls didn't bump into each other's, and we could keep the peace, like in this story. When we prayed at the end of the day, I thanked God for Coach Stefan. It's a good thing that he helped you keep the peace. Making peace is part of God's game plan. How can you make peace today? Or help someone else make peace like Abigail and Coach Stefan did? Thanks for learning and growing with me. Bye! <laughs>